Psalm 24, 1 to 6. The earth is the Lord's and everything in it, the world and all who live in it. For he founded it on the seas and established it on the waters. Who may ascend the mountain of the Lord, who may stand in his holy place, the one who has clean hands and a pure heart, who does not trust in an idol or swear by a false god. They will receive blessing from the Lord and vindication from God their Savior. Such is the generation of those who seek him, who seek your face, God of Jacob. Aming Panginoon na makapangirian sa lahat, kami po ay lumalapit at nagsasamba ngayong gabi. Nagpapasalamat po kami sa pagkakataon na binigay ninyo sa amin na makalapit kami sa inyo at mas makilala ka pa po namin. Gabayan niyo po kami sa aming pagsamba at humihingi po kami ng karunungan sa aming pag-aaral ng inyong salita. Ito ay aming dinadalangin sa matamis at pangalan Panginoong Jesus. Amen. Magandang gabi po sa kanilang lahat. Hindi na tayo magpapaligwi-ligwi pa. Simula na po natin ang magandang topic na mag-uusapan natin sa kabi nito. Bago po, na, bago po tayo dumako sa topic, main topic po natin, uh, yung team natin uh, for the year 2023, Faithful and True to the Last. And ang team natin, this uh, January to February, Delivered from this present world. So, yun po yung topic natin sa gabi nito. Delivered from this present world. Matatagpuan po natin ang ating text sa Galatian chapter 1, verse 4 and 5. Basahin po natin ito ng sabay-sabay. And verse 4, Who give himself 
for our sins, that He might deliver us from this present evil world, according to the will of God and our Father. In verse 5, To whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. It is very, I mean, Diyos sa mga pangyarihan sa lahat, muli kami nagpakasalamat sa iyong kabutihan, sa iyong gabay, sa iyong uh, kalakasan na ipinagkalmuko sa amin, spiritual man o physical Panginoon uh, sa mundo nito. Maraming salamat, Lord, sa patuloy mo pong uh, protection sa amin. At sa gami ito, Ama, gabayan niyo po kami. At ang banal na siyang, ang banal na espiritu ang siyang mag-work sa kalagitnaan namin upang maunuhaan po namin ng iyong salita na ipaparating sa amin. Sa gaming ito, dahil ito, ang, ah, dahil ito po ang aming dalangin na may pasasalamat sa matalis sa pangalan na ang Panginoon natin kapag ligtas sa si Jesus Christo. Amen. Okay. Ulit po, delivered from this present world. Okay. Ito na po tayo sa ating uh, uh, introduction. Ay, yun, introduction. Okay. Yun. Introduction. I believe that justification by faith is the foundational truth of Christianity. You can't know truth, rest, and peace until you are convinced. You can never be made right in God's eyes by your own works of righteousness. Pag hindi natin uh, naunawaan pa ang perfect righteousness of Christ that is yours by faith, we spend our days trying to place God through some kind of legalism. Hopeless attempt to establish our own righteousness. Ngunit ang katotohanan Wala tayong madadala na kahit anong kabanalan sa harapan ng ating Diyos. Anong sabi sa Isaiah? In Isaiah that says all our righteousness is unfiltered rags in God's sight. This doesn't mean God despises our good works. Not at all. God does want God does want our righteousness up and we should do good works. But if you think your good works merit your salvation, that they allow you to stand holy before God. Then, they are nothing but pilgrims. Of course, masarap sa pakiramdam ang makakagawa or gumagawa tayo ng mabuti. At the cross, our old man with all its fleshly lust and desires, all its self-righteousness, all its strivings, was done away with the God's eyes. God said, I am finished, I am finished with the old man. He is nailed to the cross. From now on, only one man can stand before me, a perfect righteous man. Jesus Christ and all who are are one in him are forgiven accepted counted as righteous in my sight okay unang punto natin sa gamit ito. apat lang po ito mabilis lang number one and least you grasp this foundational uh, truth you cannot overcome in this last days. We are justified, made 
right in God's sight by our faith in the works Jesus did on the cross. God accepts nothing less than perfect righteousness. And there is only one perfect righteousness. The righteousness of Jesus Christ. Only he perfectly fulfilled all the demands of the law. Only he satisfied the justice of God regarding sin. Salamat sa Diyos. Sa lahat na mabubuti clean, moral, faithful people in the body of Christ. Pero, mga kapatid, sino ang hindi gumagawa nito? Cheating, oh. minsan nagiging impostor ka. O oh, impostor tayo. Lie, nagsisinungaling. Still, o oh, talagang nagnanakaw. Madaming pwedeng sabihin, ninakaw na. Drink. Ano yung mga drink? No? Umiinom tayo ng tubig. Pero ito yung sinasabi drink dito, yung mga alcoholic drinks. Smoke. Ako, kumakain ako ng smoke. Smoke, longganisa. Okay. Sino ba na nagirilyo ka sa atin? Na Christian na. Use of drugs. Gamble. Ugly pornography. Or gossip. Dismiss. Tingin kaya natin may mga kristyano pa rin na gumagawa nito. Of course, mayroon. Kaya ng may mga pastor pa yun. Wala na sa gawain niya. Ang nakakalungkot. Lumaki sa church. Sa Pildera mismo. Lumaki sa church. At pinaaral ng Caldera. Ginastusan ng Caldera. Wala tayo doon sa ginastusan. Ngayon, nakikita natin, wala na sa ministeryo. Sana may magagawa ang Caldera dito. Responsibilidad ng Caldera ang mga pastor na ito na nanggaling sa atin at lumaki sa atin. Dapat mayroon tayong programa sa mga pastor na ito. Okay, may mga naliligaw na. Okay. Tuloy natin. But none of these things will stand on judgment day. We can't count on any of them to obtain favor of accept acceptance with God. Yet, sadly, millions of people think they stand before God on the goodness of their lives. No. We all have to understand this truth. We can be justified only by faith in the work Jesus has done on the cross. If you go no farther than justification by faith, If your doctrine ends at saying, I am made the righteousness of Christ by faith, then we are in danger. We are in danger. Many Christian, many Christian feel, okay, many Christian feel, they say, Oh no. Dali lang po ah. Dali lang. Okay. Many Christian the many Christian feel they say I am the righteousness of Christ. No. We are pakinggan po natin ito. We are not the righteousness of Christ. We have had the righteousness of Christ recon uh, 
Huh? Recon to us. We have no righteousness in ourselves. There is no good thing in us. Ang perfect righteousness. Ang perfect righteousness of Christ ay hindi dahil na hawa lang tayo o nabuhusan lang tayo o na, nawisikan lang tayo. Rather, we are accounted righteous in God's sight because of Jesus. Because of Jesus. Yet, when God looks at us, He says, as only as being in Christ, as perfectly righteous. Okay, number two. Sabi ko sa inyo, mabilis lang po. Number two. There is always a rest in preaching a message of grace. O bakit naman? Bakit? Bakit Bakit may rest ang pag-preach ng uh, Mrs. and Grace? Okay. The rest in preaching grace is that people will abuse it. As they dead with Paul, slanderously, slanderously reporting that the more we sin, the more God's grace can be manifested among us. Such a doctrine is dangerous because it omits something vital, something central to the gospel. According to Paul, hindi tayo makakalakad ayon sa grasya ng Diyos until we have broken from worldly corruption. the majority of Christian Christians want, want forgiveness. But that's all. They don't want to be delivered from this present world because they love it. They are attached to their sins, not wanting to give up the pleasure of this earth. So they cling to the doctrine that says, I can live as I place, as long as I say, I believe. Paul writes, nagsulat si Paul, and be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove that is that word and acceptable and perfect will of God. Makikita natin yan sa Romans 12.2 We are to break from this word completely and be conformed to the Christ, to Christ alone. Binibigyan katweran tayo ni Jesus Christ sa magitan ng pananampalataya. Para sa isang layunin, ito ay upang palakasin at bigyan tayo ng kapangyarihan na lalaban, nalabanan ang anumang tukso, anumang uh, uh, hamon ng, na, ni demons, ng demons o ng diablo at daigin ang mundo. Sa kapangyarihan ng banal na Espiritu ng Diyos, si Kristo Isos ay namatay para sa atin upang tayo ay magkaroon ng buhay na walang hanggan. This is true, wonderful, but He also died so we could enjoy deliverance in in and from this present evil world. Sabi kanina sa Galatians 1.4, Jesus Christ who gave himself for our sins 
that we might deliver us from this present evil world according to the will of God and our Father. Number three. You cannot trust in God until you quit trusting in yourself. Mabigat to. Di ba? Paul did not speak of having faith until he had lost all confidence in this flesh. He took all that he knew, all his educations, self-confidence, abilities, doctrines, and zeal, and cast them aside as done. He spoke, oh, he spoke of faith only after he, he had said, I have no confidence in my Ganon din tayo. We don't have saving faith until we come to the end of believing that someone or something other, other than Jesus can save us. Bago magkaroon ng tunay na pananampalataya ang sino man, kailangan nating maunawaan kung gaano tayo naliligaw. Walang magagawa at lubos na walang pag-asa. Justification Justification faith involves more than giving up all confidence in the flesh. It also involves submitting our whole life to Christ with all your heart. It includes a repentance that says, Jesus, I've got nothing to offer you. I am nothing and I have nothing. I come to submit to your Lordship. In Romans 10, 9, Paul characterized saving faith as believing with your heart and confessing with your mouth. Who is truly justified by faith? Who has Christ's perfect righteousness credited to him? Who is seen as holy before you? It is the one who has come to the end of all human help. Alam niya na siya ay naliligaw at walang magagawa at ngayon ipinagkakatiwala na niya ang kanyang buong buhay sa kamay o sa mga kamay ng ating Panginoon. Nang buong puso, isipan, kaluluwa at lakas at siya ay sumisigaw. Panginoon, ako ay iyo. Gusto kong maligtas. Patawarin ninyo ako sa lahat ng mga kasalanan na aking ito. Gusto kong tanggapin si Kristo bilang Panginoon at tagapagligtas ng aking ito. Gusto kong ipamuhay ang buhay ni Kristo. Panginoon, ikaw lang ang aking pagkas. Pang-apat. There is one other important aspect of saving justification. Aspect of saving justification, faith. The strongest Feature of true saving faith is a desire to draw closer to Him who loves you. For Christ, for Christ also had once suffered for sins, the just for the unjust, that He might bring us to God. That's First Peter three eight ten. Why did Jesus suffer? 
and die. Why did he provide justification for us? Why is his perfect righteousness accounted to us? Nang magkasala si Adan, nawala sa kanya ang pinakamahalagang bagay na maaaring taglayin ng sino mang lalaki o babae, ang pagiging malapit sa Diyos. Itinaboy ng kasalanan si Adan mula sa pagiging malapit sa Ama at siya ay at si Adan mismo ang nagtago sa harapan ng Diyos. Mula noon, tuwing magkakasala ang tao, may guilt tayo na nararamdaman sa ating puso at gusto din natin magtago tulad ng nararamdaman ni Adan. This is this is why God so hates sin because it robs us of his fellowship. He created us for his very reason, for intimacy with him. And he so yearned for our fellowship that he sent his own son to die on the cross to justify us and tear down the walls that block that intimacy from taking place. That is the power of justification, the glory of Christ's perfect righteousness imputed It made a way back to God's original purpose in creating man for fellowship with the Father. This present world is full of evil, slander, satanic lies, seduction, guilt, fear, condemnation. All of it's designed by Satan to keep us feeling unholy, unworthy to come into God's presence. The devil would have us hide us deep in them to keep us from intimacy with God. Beloved, hindi namatay si Jesus Christ para lang dalhin tayo sa paraiso. He died so that every day you could live in beautiful, close fellowship with the Father. Maaari tayong makipag-usap sa Diyos, makinig sa Diyos, hilingin sa Kanya ang Kanyang gabay, at sabihin sa ating kung saan tayo nagkamali dahil nananatili siya sa atin sa pamagitan ng banal na Espiritu. Conclusion Okay, conclusion To be delivered from this present evil world means simply this. Number one, He delivered us from the power guilt and condemnation of sin. Number two, He delivered us from the condemnation of an accusing conscience. Number three, He atoned for every sin, robbing Satan of all accusation against us. And number four, He buried our sins in a sea of forgetfulness kneeling everything against us to the cross. And number five, he rent the he rent the veil in two, opening up to us the holy of holies, a way for us to come into him and for him to come out to us. 
ang Diyos ang magpala sa kanyang salita at uh, nawa ay uh, mapulutan natin ang araw sa ating buhay Christian. Tayo po ay manalangin ang aming Diyos sa mga pangyarihan sa lahat. Maraming maraming salamat sa iyong kabutihan, sa iyong uh, uh, sa aming kaligtasan na ginawa niyo para sa amin. Dalangin namin Lord na magampanan namin ang aming uh, responsibilidad habang nandito po kami sa mundo na puno ng uh, makasalanan. Dalangin namin, Lord, na tulungan mo po kami sa aming pagpapatuloy. Dahil ito pa aming dalangin na may kasasalanan sa tanging pangalan ng aming Panginoon at agapagligtas na si Mark 12:41-44 And Jesus sat over against the treasury and beheld how the people cast money into the treasury and many that were rich cast in much and there came a certain poor widow and she threw in two mites which make a farthing and he called unto him his disciples and said unto them Verily I say unto you, that this poor widow has cast more in than all that they which have cast into the treasury. For all they did cast in of their abundance, but she of her want did cast in all that she had, even all her living. Our gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you for your provisions. Thank you for giving us our everyday needs. Thank you for the good health that we can go to our work and take care of our businesses. We thank you for this opportunity and privilege that we can return our tithes to you and give our offerings. Please bless these for the furtherance of your work. In Jesus' name, Amen.
Salamat Ama sa inyong paggabay sa amin ngayong gabi. Salamat sa karunungan. Salamat at kami po ay na-remind at naturuan ng inyong salita. Tulungan niyo po kami na maisabuhay ang mga katotohanan ito. In Jesus' name, Amen.